Hi again, Sine here, and today we're going to take a quick look at installing the Catalyst theme onto your WordPress blog. Now, if you remember from a previous video, I have essentially an empty blog. I have one post, four default pages, and one category that I've created. So it is a brand new blog with essentially no content in it. So I'm going to um, install the Catalyst theme, which I have already downloaded, purchased, and downloaded to my local computer. Um, the Catalyst theme comes in a bundle which you will first need to unzip uh, and once unzipped upload the appropriate pieces to your uh, WordPress theme. So I'm going to where I've downloaded Catalyst which I, pla which I placed in a folder called My Themes and I'm going to unzip this right here. I'm just going to extract all into that location. give it a moment to unzip and you'll notice that we now have three folders a catalyst zip a dynamic zip and a folder called dynamic skins now when you if you purchase the bundle you get the dynamic skins dynamic means a series of child skins that can be layered on top of the parent theme called catalyst so now that they're all unzipped I'm going to be able to use WordPress's built-in theme installation features to get them online. So I will go to Appearance, Themes, I will choose Install Themes on the second tab, and then choose the Upload option. Now the order that you do these in is important. Catalyst must be uploaded and installed before Dynamic. That is absolutely a must. So once again, I'm navigating to where I have that theme that I just extracted. Themes, my theme. And I'm going to choose the Catalyst zip file. And click Install Now. Now that it's installed, I can choose Activate. Okay, and as we can see, the new theme is now activated. Now, Catalyst also works with child themes or creates a child theming option so I'm going to now upload the second set which is the dynamic so once again I'm going to click on install themes upload and then browse to the dynamic zip file and open it and choose install now okay it's complete so I'll click activate as well here now by default you start with essentially a blank canvas. Um, it has a few options already enabled, but very, very few. So let's look at how Catalyst arrives out of the box. It is, like I said, a blank white canvas, not very much going on. Um, we have a title, which we can replace with an image. We have a tagline. We have some built-in navigation to sidebar widget areas, and then a content area. So by default, all Catalyst themes start right here. And using the combination of core options and dynamic options, you're able to change settings, which change the look and feel of the blog. Once you get one that contains all the primary elements you need, for example, if you always want to have a um, featured video in the upper right hand corner and you always want to have a rotating gallery on top of the content that is uh, displayed for your archives like your categories and your date archives then you can create all of that here and then clone your file and all new blogs, blogs will contain that default content and once again you get to all of that using the core and dynamic options and these tabs to go through and select how things behave. Now if you look below this video I'll show you a list of where you can find the how-to videos specific to Catalyst and how to go in and make changes really make it your own. Uh, Catalyst is a powerful theme that allows you to uh, make anything that you can conceive of ha have this theme look and feel like that. Okay so in addition to these core options which are global 
to each one of these appropriate categories. For example, everything globally related to navbar is on the core options and navbar. Everything specific to this particular um, element is found on the dynamic options. So for example, if we wanted to make a change to navbar 1 or navbar 2, we'd do so here. It has built-in color pickers, so you can just choose the color that you want, and it'll automatically change here. Um, and you just go through and select from all of these settings. Just turn on and turn off things as appropriate to how you want it to look and feel. Once you've made a change, save your changes, and then go look at what, it, uh, what changes it made live. Now, there's one thing I wanted to cover with you really quickly. Let's save that change and let's go to the advanced options. Advanced options in addition to the picking and choosing and the color pickers is what makes Catalyst so powerful. Catalyst gives you the opportunity to create custom layouts that you can define on a per page level. So for example you could create a custom layout and call it home page and give it for example a different set of sidebars so you could have a right sidebar on the home page and then on the default page have it be on the left. Uh, you can also have one that you create for the testimonials and have it have a double sidebar, one on the left and one on the right. So you create your own custom layouts and save them here. In addition to that, you can create custom widget areas. Now, widget areas allow you to define a portion of your blog theme that you want to make a widget. And Catalyst comes with a big list of hooked areas, that's these, that show you where these appear within a standard post. So, for example, if I wanted to create a specific widget area that contained a list of um, recent posts, popular posts, and recent comments, and I wanted that to appear at the top of my blog content on my archive page, I would scroll down and choose the hook that put this before the content, give it a name, and save it. I can also give it a priority, which will determine if I have two that use the same hook, which comes first. Um, and if I save this, then I have now a widget area that I can drag and drop widgets into that will appear before the post content in an area called gallery. So just to show you real quickly, if I go look at the widgets page, I now have a new set of widget areas. The default sidebar 1, the home page sidebar 1, and the testimonial sidebar 1 because those were three additional um, widget area or layouts that I chose and since testimonials had two sidebars there's both of those and then I created a widget area called gallery that will appear at the top of the post content. So just like every other widget area on every other WordPress blog, these can contain anything I drag and drop in here. So all I have to do is drag and drop them. They behave like every other widget area out there. I just get to define where they appear on the blog, which again makes, in my estimation, Catalyst an ideal theme if you're going to be cloning and merging and making a lot of new themes uh, over and over. If you're an affiliate marketer or doing a lot of AdSense, Catalyst is a great theme option for that. Uh, in addition to custom layouts and custom widgets, you can also define your own custom hook box which can contain ongoing um, HTML code. So for example, using the same hook system, I can create a hook that puts it before the header and I give it a name and then I can put my own HTML in here. So for example, um, if I had uh, a special image that I wanted to um, define uh, along with some special navigation, I could put it right inside here. This, with, this will hold any kind of custom HTML you want to put in here. Uh, and then again, if I save this, I've created a hook box that contains this code that'll place it before the header. So it's a little 
more specific than using a widget because a widget is just a container that you drag and drop things into and a hook box allows you to actually define the the code that goes here so lots of flexibility here lots of things that you can do uh, I think you'll enjoy catalyst themes do check out the videos that you see listed down below to learn more about how to make catalyst your own as always thanks for tuning in this is Sine signing off till next time